This is a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial and this is in collaboration with 49 other Indian YouTubers. Yes, 50 YouTubers have got together to make videos on Valentine's Day. Everything you want to know about Valentine's Day has been pro uh, provided by the 50 YouTubers. Clothing options, gifting options, DIYs, everything has been provided to you and links to all the channels are provided in the description box below so do not forget to check check it out it's a huge collaboration and this is the first time i've been a part of a collab so i'm really excited about it this is the look which i've created this is a very wearable first date kind of a makeup tutorial where you don't want to look very overpowering you don't want to look very overdressed you don't want to look like you know you put in a lot of effort because it just intimidates the men when you wear a lot of makeup on the first date so this is very uh, very girly very pretty very feminine in my opinion and it's very very easy to recreate i haven't used 20 different eyeshadows for this look all products are from the drugstore so you don't really have to spend a lot of money to uh, purchase any of the products used for this tutorial everything is very very affordable and it's all drugstore so you know it's affordable and it's really simple to recreate i haven't used black on the eyes because black looks a little um harsh whereas brown looks a little mundane so i've used green on the eye and paired it with warm pink lips hope you enjoyed the tutorial and stay tuned hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you do do not forget to comment in the comment section below like and subscribe to my channel you do not have to pay anything for the subscription you just have to hit on the red button down below and you'll be notified every time i put up a new video that's it also do not forget to check out the channels of the 49 indian youtubers down below in the description box all products will be mentioned in the description box and probably linked as well so you do not have to worry about anything just sit back enjoy this tutorial if you recreate it do not forget to tag me on instagram on my social media it is mentioned below if you have any queries any questions anything about product reviews makeup tutorials or anything any kind of request comment comment i'm going to do it for you so that's it for today sit back enjoy this tutorial and i'll see you very soon bye I'm first going to use foundation and the foundation which I'm going to use is the MAC Plus Poreless Fit Me Foundation in the shade 230 which is, matches me perfectly during winters. Uh, I'm going to use it with the Real Techniques Complexion Miracle Sponge which has been dampened. Now you guys this foundation is a little too dry so I would highly recommend using a good moisturizer which goes deep into the skin and nourishes the skin because I clearly did not moisturize my skin really well and it did uh, the foundation did cling on to my dry patches especially on my nose and around my lips so I would really say that if you're using this foundation you do use a good moisturizer I have done a full review on the fit me foundation so if you want to know more about it I'll link it somewhere on the video and on the description box for you to check out I'm going for a more my skin but better kind of a look I'm not going trying to make it look cakey I'm not going to make it look overpowering uh, and the sponge really helps me in doing that the next product which I'm going to use is also from Maybelline fit me it is the Fit Me Concealer in the shade uh, medium and I'm going to apply it in the back of my hand and then pick it up and apply it in the areas of concern which is the dark circles uh, under my eyes and around the mouth area. I tend to use the, this product with a he very heavy hand if I apply it with the wand which is why I apply it in the back of my hand and then pick up and build up the product accordingly rather than just you know so just applying it very sloppily under the eyes because it turns ashy if not blended properly. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this uh, matte powder from L'Oreal and I'm going to use it only on my T-zone. The winter has been really dry for me. So I'm just going to use it on my T-zone because my cheeks are fairly dry and I'm not going to, you know, touch upon those areas. I'm also going to... Um, use the powder on my under eyes to set the concealer in because the fit me concealer that te does tend to crease okay i can't talk today does tend to crease and uh, that's what i'm doing 
By the way, the brush I'm using is from Real Techniques Bold Metals Collection. I'm going to use a green kajal, but before that, I'm going to use the powder on my lids to set the concealer and the foundation. Now, with this green kajal, this one is from Iconic, Lacme Iconic. I'm going to use it to create a very, uh, like, um, you know, uh, like a line on my eyelid okay it's official i can't talk today and that line does not need to be very very neat now with a pencil brush i'm going to smoke out that line and build up the product as i go to get the desired intensity now you if you want you can go in very deep i did not want to go in very deep i just wanted it to be really nice and simple which is what i'm doing um i just went in with the product twice i believe and then smoked it out now we're also going to smoke out the lower lash line with the same green color but i'm not adding additional product i'm just going in with whatever there is remaining on my brush and with the remnants of the green kajal i'm going to smoke out my lower lash line this step will give us a very smoky cat eye kind of a look but if you're not flicking it off uh, now i'm going to use the sivana colors brick shimmer brick and i'm going to use it in the inner corners of my eye to make my eyes look wide apart wide set which looks really flattering i'd say and that's what i'm trying to recreate um, just a little bit of sparkle on the inner corner of the eye it just livens up and makes you look more bright and it looks like you're paying more attention when you guys talking now for those fluttery eyes we are going in with the Dremel's Candlelight Mascara this is my favorite mascara but this did become a little clumpy it's getting clumpy so I have to get a hold of a new tube of it this by far is one of the best um, mascaras I've used. If you're looking for a, a mascara which adds volume and adds length, this is your babe. I love it and I will definitely repurchase it. Also, don't forget to curl your lashes because it gives you a more open eye look. It gives you more doll eyed look. It just makes you look more thick and more fresh, I'd say. So don't forget to curl your lashes and apply oodles and oodles and oodles of mascara. Do not forget to coat each and every lash because you're getting ready for a date and you might be getting enough time to get ready. Also, don't forget the lower lash line. And now I'm going to use a nude pencil. This one is from Oriflame and I'm going in with it, uh, going it, going with it on my lower waterline. Uh, this will make our eyes look bigger and I'm going to use it uh, on the lower waterline. Uh, after I use my mascara because it just becomes grey if you use a mascara over it. After that I'm going to use blush. This is happens to be my favorite blush from Maybelline. This is uh, Coral Peachy Coral. I don't remember the shade name. I'll definitely link it down below. And I'm going to apply it with the Real Techniques blush brush on the apples of my cheek. We're not going in for clown cheeks. We're going in with the sheer wash of color which looks really, really natural on the cheeks. And that's what I'm aiming for. Not going in with, you know, a totally boom. Like, see, I blush on. It's a very soft blush and it looks really really nice now with the same uh, highlight from Sivana colors which we used in the inner corners i'm going to highlight my cheekbone and then blend it with the blush so that it just looks nice and seamless um this highlight is definitely bang for your buck it's available on flipkart so if you want to go for an affordable highlight i think this is 350 rupees it's totally worth the money you spend Also go in with the highlight on the bridge of your nose. I'm not going in uh, on my chin or on my forehead because it just looks very, very overdone. Nonetheless, I'm going to use a little bit of the highlight on top of my brows to give it a nice sheen and a slight lift uh, because it looks really natural when you apply highlight on the top of your brows now we're going in with the lipstick this lipstick is from streetwear 
it's uh, I also forgot the name of this lipstick. Okay, I'll definitely link it down below. And then we're going in before with gloss. This is my favorite gloss from Lacme, and voila, this is the finished look. It's so flirty. It's very feminine, very sweet, and very 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 nice for an ev uh, everyday look. And it's really nice for your first date look as well. So do recreate it and let me know how it fed. And um, yeah, that's it. Do not forget to check all the links in the description box below. All 49 links will be provided to you. And a very, very happy Valentine's Day to you guys. Have fun.